What's up, Full Circle Nation? It's Dean here, uh, bright and early. Figured I'd do a quick walk around of the yard before people start uh, showing up, and I got to move these trucks out of the way. So, um, basically, to start, kind of, that's the entrance of our yard over there. That's not even our yard, actually. We rent this little spot from, like, kind of, like, here down to, like, over there from a paving company. Yeah, they're great. Um, and basically, you know, we park the three trucks with trailers along here. We've got uh, P6 with um, dump trailer 2. We've got P2 here, which is the diesel truck with dump trailer one. And then we've got P3 here with the mowing set up. And this one has the uh, Ferris 72 inch mower on it. Uh, oh, and then there's a random, this is uh, one of the Toro grandstand mowers. We, what's nice is lately we have a backup mower, which has been helpful because it's less stressful and the mower stops working and we can get the lawns done. <laughs> um, this is the Ferris mower. This thing's a unit. Um, does awesome on property 72 inch is definitely more efficient than a 60 inch you know all the trucks have the equipment defender racks on them uh leaf vacuum yeah yeah i know it's not leaf season but it's close enough <laughs> now nah, i just have the time to take it off um my car is over there parked next to the paving company's low boy trailer not ours uh someday um over here this is um the newest truck p7 it's the only truck that has power windows we use this for like our bi-weekly weeding and stuff um so yeah, and then uh, the only other thing is uh, the storage container, which is right there. Uh, oh, I guess, and there's, um, what a truck is that? That's uh, P4, I believe. Um, so P4 has got this custom bed that's pretty cool. Uh, I don't think I actually ever did a video on it. Exactly, I mean, of course this side the spring broke, but um, we'll fix that. This is a custom bed to hold the mower. It can actually fit the 72 inch as well. Um, this is just, you know, another normal truck. Again, the equipment defender racks on it. Um, pretty cool. Pretty cool truck. Long ramp, though. Um, you know, over here, we've got the storage container. We put all the ladders and stuff on top of it. And then, uh, in here, it's just where we keep all of our stuff, you know. Uh, we lock it up at night. We got the generator, uh, air compressor down there. Blade sharpener. This is the, whatever it is, um... Hornet something, um, you know, packed for air gun for taking off blades, uh, snow plus stuff, weed whackers. Over on this wall, we've got uh, extra weed whackers, uh, stump grinder we bought this year. Not sure why we bought that this year, but it works. I mean, I am sure, but I think I talked about it in a different video. Uh, some natural herbicide, it's what we buy. It's supposed to be natural at least. Uh, extra tools, extra leaf blower. Extra leaf blower tube. I'm sure it came off of one of them while it was probably tubeless. There's another leaf blower. Um, fabric accelerator bagger. It's pretty atrocious in here, actually. Um, paint cans. Yada, yada. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, what else is in here? Grass flaps uh, for mowers. Sorry, it's kind of dark in the back. Um, you know, preen, weed killer. Over here, we keep all the oil. This is just the poncho. Over here, we keep all the oils and the straps. Um... You know, what else is back here? More straps, more tarps, paper towels, trash bags. Um, oh, and then I forgot, this is a, uh, whatever, walk behind uh, push blower that we bought. That works decent. The hose for the blower back is also back there. Um, you know, plow mounts are up on the shelf up there. So, um, yeah, we keep a whiteboard in there that I actually need to grab for today's meeting. If I don't get attacked by a hoe. Um, there we go. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, it's nothing really, really crazy interesting for us. Oh, wait, there's the, um, I'll show you real quick. Here are the, uh, the blade changing fingers we use. We pull the mowers up on there to change the blades. It's another truck box that we just bought that we're going to install on one of them. There's our, um, what are those things called? Uh, seed spreaders, trash cans, pots and client wanted us to take um yeah that's uh pretty much it i mean like i said it's nothing crazy interesting uh it's more just behind the scenes stuff that is interesting but yeah here's the yard uh for those of you who are quite curious how we got this yard um basically i just saw that the, there, there used to be this actually used to be an old landscape company here that owned this whole yard um and they actually i guess they went out of business or something um so it was bought by a um paving company that's down the street from here and I saw their trucks here. They're not really using it yet. So we rent this um, 
you know, we, we have a we have, we have a pretty good bartering deal with them. We we, we cut this lawn, their yard, and then or their other yard, and then ca some cash on top of that from us. Um, but it works. Uh, just for the record, right in this spot is supposed to be that truck. Somebody didn't put it back at the end of the day yesterday, and there's my car back there. So what I'm gonna what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna pull all these trucks, this truck and that truck, all down along the driveway here, um, and then you know put one. Sorry to spin you guys. Put one here and then put another one like over there. And then everybody will park where the trucks are so that when all the trucks leave, we only take up this little small footprint of the yard. So, um, yeah, everybody just parks in rows and stuff. Um, but yeah, thanks guys for tuning in and I will uh, see you in the next one. Hope this was uh, kind of what you're looking for. It appears that I have some more time. So I wanted to show you guys what it looks like once you park the trucks. So down there, you know, here, these two are here. It doesn't really matter where we park them, but they just have to get parked. This one is next to the area where they were parked. Uh, those two back there. Um, so now if you look where the lines are, we could fit one car, two cars, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven people parking over here, um, at least. So, uh, yeah. Just to show you guys how we, how we move the trucks in the morning and all the trucks will roll out and we'll just be in this little section here. So since I'm already piecing this together, I might as well show you guys this. Is uh, We've got a, a Cosmo and a Wanda truck. One of our team members handed that, but all the tools in this truck are pink. So pink, 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 pink. Uh, oil barrels are, I mean, it doesn't matter, matter, but all those, see all those tools are pink, 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 pink. So every truck has kind of the same, same type of stuff. Um... If you look, uh, and then same thing with this one, but this one's green. So you see green, 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 and uh, yeah, you know, it keeps them organized. Uh, I don't, I don't have a tool list in front of me, but there's just a bunch of tools that we use, and then we have extra tools in the container, like you saw, uh, for anything that needs, you know, more than our uh, standard tool load.